hashtag in the um, in the comments on Facebook. And you know, um, I'm glad that these eight girls turned in an application. Um, you know, some of them I went to them myself, like you know, you should try it. And this is a really good experience. And some of them, I'm very proud of them that they came into the chairman's office or the CPQ complex and picked up their own application. And I'm really proud of them. Out of well, like 1,000 or so women and young ladies out there between the ages 18, 18 through 25, um, only eight turn it in. And you, the White Mountain Apache people, should be really proud of these eight contestants that we have here today for you. And I know some of, some of you are excited and um, to see who the girls were. And you kept you know, bugging me and my committee asking who the girls are, but we were on the down low. We didn't want to share information just yet because these girls you know, I wanted Johnny. to protect them. And you know, they're you know, barely getting this the spotlight. So yeah, um, so these are their eight contestants here, but you should be proud of these eight girls that um, have turned in the application, you know. Um, you probably knew someone um, that could run for Miss White Mountain, but you know, these eight girls here, they're really brave and for turning in the application. So yeah, so please just encourage all of these young women here because they're willing to run for Miss White Mountain. As I said before, we usually, you know, for the, as a past Three pageants have tried out for Miss White Mountain. We only, I only competed against four or five girls, but you know this is eight, and um, you know this is we don't see it as a competition. We just see it as a friendly um, group that we, you know, we get together, we share a lot of laughs, and we are actually getting to know each other. Yeah, we're getting to know each other more and more each day. So. Yeah, I'll just keep kind of, um, supporting all of these girls Cause, because to me, they're all winners. I wish we could all give them a crown for turning in an application, you know. But, you know, all of them will be this right now to me because they're from this reservation and willing to you know, run for the title. But, yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah. The um, Shiki contestants, eight, that you put it in those tiny um, sportsmen. <laughs> ไม่ใช่น่ะอ๋อสิจ๊ะแล้วเราก็ได้ไปดีๆเอ่อเดี๋ยวเราจะเอาน้องสตองก็ได้ดีๆแต่ละอาจารย์วันเดียวเลยละ
so people are <laughs> excited. And, um, but once again, you know, we have a limit amount um, of tickets of 100. And so, um, so um, and the purchase, the person that's buying the tickets, you only have a limit of five tickets to purchase. Um, so that's an, um, that's something that we came up with because we already heard that there's a line forming there. So, but no, before there was any limit to tickets. We were considering, you know, how much you're gonna buy. That's your tickets. But now we're setting a limit to that because, you know, these girls, this is, I can just feel all the butterflies. <laughs> that there's a line growing there. See, you girls are celebrities. People want to know who you ladies are. <laughs> So yeah, um, but be sure to buy some of the sweets that the girls have made there as well. This is for our budget for the trip to Mount Baldy this weekend. And also for our movie trip next weekend, just the girls and I, you know, we're going to probably go watch Annabelle as a group. <laughs> so yeah, you know, please come out and support these girls. We're going to uh, do a meet and greet there, so be sure to stop by. And this weekend is the bread making contest at the Criso. Yeah. And we're also accepting donations of water, Gatorade, and soda. So if you wish to donate, feel free to do so. Um, there's also a donation for prizes. If you wish to donate a prize, um, you, you're more than welcome to donate a prize as well. And that's to the public. Um, if your department wants to donate or if you want to donate personally, um, it's okay. So, um, and we have like about 10 minutes left. So we have um, last remarks. Okay. Um, just real, real briefly, again, um, we really focus this year on sportsmanship and just being together and bonding um, the young ladies themselves. But I want to say, um, you know, as I, I said this before, as a pageant mom, you one of the things I stressed to my own daughter was there's always going to be a winner, but there's always going to be the loser. The loser is going to be the one who's going to. Um, congratulate the winner and then walk away with dignity because you know that's how the game goes you know so you know in, in the years of experience of those won and then those losses you know they've always been no big man experiences that they just do that to you know, the pageant experience um me, me, meeting the young ladies that competed with my daughter you know it's been an experience too because then i know to this day, you know, then there's still a bond and a relationship there. So this is something that you form with each other, uh, get to know one another after this. Right now there's no social media for them, but after this, um, you guys can either tag each other or friend, each, friend requests and stuff to each other and, you know, kind of establish those relationships. So, you know, um, when I ran for Miss Blame on the Pachi Princess, you know, until this day, these girls that I, competed against, you know, they're my friends till this day, you know, Atiana DeClay and Christina Carroll are one of, one of the two girls that competed for Miss White Mountain Princess, and they're still my friends to this day, you know, I'm uh, going to give you girls the words of encouragement, you know, just keep in touch with each other, encourage each other, you know, stay friends, this is like a sisterhood that we're bonding here today, so. and this isn't the end either, you know, we know there's bigger titles out there too, there's a city in Arizona, I know um, Ms. Tabitha was this intertribal ceremonial. There's this Indian world. Um, Native American USA. Yeah, Miss Native American USA. Hey, Miss Arizona. This is um, Miss, um, what do they call that? USA? Yeah. You know, so I mean, the sky's, the sky's the limit. You want to be the first Native of Miss USA? Then go for it. So when you dream, you know, your visions and your dreams should be very big because you want to kind of challenge yourself and say, yeah, I can do it, you know. So, um, oh, yeah. Oh, again, so this weekend, yeah. this Saturday, is going to be the bread making contest at Cariso. We're involving each community and we're starting off there with the bread contest. We usually only have the bread contest here in White River, but, you know, I myself, you know, want to include each community because that's who I represent, um, the whole White Mountain Apache tribe. So that's why I'm including Cariso in the bread making contest. So it's this Saturday and I believe it's at 10 o'clock a.m. So, you know, come out and support these ladies as they make their bread. And I I believe they're going to bring some stew and stuff as well for the visitors, so you're welcome to that as well. I'll let so yeah, this is this Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m., the bread making contest. So any last comments, ladies? <laughs> Shout out. Good say, say bye. Bye. <laughs> see you. Oh, yeah. Oh, the birthday girl. Oh, <laughs> that we
we're going to get away with that. <laughs> contestant number eight. Contestant number eight, Shonda Bennett. Today's today? All right. Next week, Thursday. Wow. Well, let's sing happy birthday to her as a group. Early birthday.